50 years. We've gotten clients 10, 20, even 100 times more than the insurance company's original offer. That's the difference experience makes. Choose Jacoby and Myers. Now at 5.30, an investigation is underway after several businesses were set on fire last night in Sherman Oaks. And now police have made an arrest. NBC 4's Gordon Tokamatsu is live right now in Sherman Oaks, where, Gordon, a popular flower shop was also burned to the ground. Yeah, it certainly was, Colleen. A couple of hours ago, the LA City Fire Department did announce that arrest. We know it's a female. We do not know her name yet, but take a look at the worst the very worst of this damage, Mark's Garden, which you can see right here, the front of the store, a total loss, including artificial flowers that used to be a visual calling card for this very popular florist. Pre-dawn, Ventura Boulevard, where Mark's Garden has stood for nearly three decades. A raging fire inside, spilling out the front doors and onto the sidewalk. Firefighters knocking the flames down in about 23 minutes, according to an alert. Residents and business owners gathering nearby, stunned by the spectacle. There are homes back here, and they are very concerned, as they rightfully should be. Like many in this neighborhood, Katie Kazaza has done business with Mark's Garden in the past. Its website boasts A-list celebrities among its hundreds of clients over the years, from Madonna to the Kardashians to Justin Bieber. If you've had or been to a fancy wedding, you've, you've met them, you've had their flowers. Could have been your store. Yeah, it wasn't, thank God. John Zumbo's vitamin shop is down the street. He lives near Mark's Garden and rushed here when he heard the sirens. His opinion of the famous florist echoes many others we've heard. Great arrangements, super friendly staff. Employees at the scene here today declined our request for an interview. LA City Fire is now confirming that a person has been arrested in connection to a series of, quote, intentional acts. Several fires breaking out at around the same time, potentially connected to a home, this business, and some trash bins in the area. John Zumbo told us insurance can repair and replace what was destroyed, but peace of mind is a different thing entirely. But it's just a feeling of not being safe and the craziness that's going on in the world all over. So once again, the name of the woman arrested has not been publicly released. We've reached out to the LAPD and the district attorney's office for any comment they might want to issue today. Live at Sherman Oaks, Gordon Tokumatsu, NBC4 News. All right, Gordon, thank you very much for that. Meantime, today, the Manhattan Beach community gathered to remember police officer Chad Swanson. He died in a freeway accident two weeks ago while on his way to work. A procession took place ahead of the funeral, which honored the life and legacy of the 13-year police veteran. He was a member of the SWAT team and honor guard. His colleagues say Swanson had a genuine desire to make the community safer. We're, we're a small community, but we're a close community. And so we want to support all of the people that um, help us. He was a member of our community. Um, I've only lived here for three or four years, but community is very important. I used to live in Manhattan Beach. I don't live here anymore, but I come and three young sons. One woman dead, five other people injured after a house fire in Panorama City. Firefighters responded to a call on Matillaha Avenue near Strathern Street. This happened around eight o'clock this morning. One woman was found dead inside a bedroom there. Five others treated for their injuries. Three of them transported to the hospital. Officials say smoke alarms in the house did not work. Uh, the biggest challenge of this fire was the multiple patients that they had created by this fire. A total of 10 people were evaluated by the fire department. Tragically, one of them, a 90-year-old female, succumbed to her injuries. At this point, it's still unclear how this fire started. An arrest has been made in the shooting of a security guard in Laguna Hills. 32-year-old Matthew Luke Pickens now faces attempted murder charges. We were live last night at 5 near the scene on Brittlewood Drive and Saddle Rock Place. That's where deputies found the victim in the driver's seat of a parked security guard vehicle. He'd been shot several times. Today, he is still in critical condition at the hospital. Investigators seized multiple weapons from the suspect's home and car. No word on a motive. And police release.